All right, get your hands up and don't move. Sheridan, get up and back away. Wait, Sheridan, don't argue, just do it. What the hell are you doing here? I'm here to see Sheridan and spend some time with her. Well, why didn't you just knock on the door? I did, but nobody answered, so I let myself in. I figured I'd just wait in here so we could be alone without you knowing about it and getting all worked up. Uh, damn it, Hank, I'm guarding Sheridan. You had no right to Thanks break in Thanks for proving here. my point. You understand, don't you, Sheridan? Yes, Hank, but you scared me half to death. Well, I knew it would startle you. That's why I put my hand over your mouth, so you wouldn't tip off Luis before I could explain. Even so... These flowers, are they all from you? Well, I wanted to do something special for you, you know? I know you've been through a lot lately, so... You know, Sheridan's lucky it was you waiting in here for her and not the guy who was hired to kill her. I swear someone took a shot at her. You aren't sure? No. I think they used a silencer. Missed. I hit a tree branch and I fell right next to Sheridan. Anyway, we ran through the woods. We looped back to the car and gave whoever it was a slip. I got people up at Lover's Point right now checking for evidence. And then I show up here at Sheridan's and scare her to death. I can't tell you how sorry I am. It's all right, Hank. You didn't know. I just, I wish this nightmare was over. That's why I reacted the way I did when you grabbed me. I thought I was being attacked. Don't blame yourself. All that happened was my fault. Well, let's hope that's the station saying we have some evidence of the hitman at Lover's Point. Crane residence. Yeah. What would you find? <laughs> Nothing? What, no footprints? No, no, no tire tracks? <sighs> you sure you searched the entire area? Yeah, well, thanks for checking. The police found no evidence that an attempt was made on my life tonight. That doesn't mean anything. Look, he's a cop and a spin doctor, too. Sheridan, this hitman is a professional. Now, he obviously covered his tracks, made sure that there was no evidence that he was there. Either that, or there was no hitman at all. Well, you're the one who screamed and went down. Because a tree branch fell on me. Exactly. Now, I told you that that tree branch was most likely seared off by a bullet. A bullet that was meant you for know, you. I've heard enough, Luis. There was no hitman at Lover's Point tonight. Just your ego-driven paranoia. My ego? You're the one who thinks that she's invincible. Luis drags me through the woods like we're in the Blair Witch Project. I scratch my legs, ruin my dress, and lose my favorite pair of shoes. And all for what? Just so he can scare me into coming back home. Scare you? You didn't want me to go out tonight in the first place, so you pay me back by making me think my life is in danger. I can't believe you. You know, I go out of my way time and time again to save your life. Right. And the seascape is just a magnet for assassins. You see the thanks I gave for saving her scrawny neck My again? My neck is not scrawny! Sheridan, listen. There's a hitman out there who's trying to kill you. That's a fact. Now, you keeping me from doing my job to catch this perp is increasing the chances that you're going to end up dead. But, Luis! I listened to you once tonight, and you made me paranoid for nothing! Well, I'm not convinced that it was nothing. I think someone took a shot at you tonight at Lover's Point. You want to know what I think? I think we should change the subject, because you two aren't getting anywhere going at each other like this. You're right, Hank. Why should I waste my time arguing with Luis when you were sweet enough to come and visit me? Crane residence? Yeah. What? All right. No, just keep me posted, right? What was that all about? Headquarters got several calls from the prom boat saying they were caught in a terrible storm. What? Clear as a bell outside. Yeah. Even so, Teresa and Miguel were on that boat. Ethan. So are Sam, Grace, and the girls. 
Um, I think we should get down to the wharf and see what the harbor master does. Come on, Hank, you're in no condition to go anywhere. You're just barely getting over getting beaten. I can't go because I gotta guard Sheridan. Luis, you have to go. It's too important not to. I promise to stay here. Hank, you'll stay with me, won't you? Yeah, sure. Look, we'll lock all the doors and the windows and we'll turn the alarm on. And I won't let her out of my sight. If it wasn't for my family, I... I know, but I'll be fine. All right. I'll get back as soon as I can, all right? I'll change clothes. Okay. Aren't you going to answer that? It could be Luis or Sam. Hello? You have your gun with you? Yeah, why? You're at Sheridan Crane's cottage. Uh, no I'm not, I... Don't lie to me, Hank. I know you're there. And you know what to do. Kill Sheridan now. <laughs>